Well, tonight, Michiganders are now required to put down that phone behind the wheel. Michigan's distracted driving laws going into effect today, the same day that thousands of drivers are hitting the road for the 4th of July holiday. Under the new law passed in March, drivers cannot talk on the phone, text, watch videos, or look at social media. But how will it be enforced? Today, 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels rode along with the Oakland County Sheriff's deputy to get a behind the scenes look. I don't want to judge, but I don't see a lot of kindness out there. I'll put it that way. As a Michigan driver who also does ride share, Scotty Morgan told us he doesn't hold his phone while driving, but he constantly sees others doing it. He said he's glad to see the hands free driving law go into effect this weekend. But like many others, he just has one question. How are you going to enforce it? Today, we're riding along with the Oakland County Sheriff's Department to learn exactly that. Driving us and informing us is Deputy Carson. I think each officer kind of approaches traffic enforcement in their own way. According to Carson, about half of their traffic stops throughout this week have been due to people being on their phones and deputies in turn telling them that that will soon be illegal. In fact, he pulled someone over for being on their phone while we were in the car. Did that driver know about the new law? He did not. So how are you going to go about handling this? So for him today, I'm going to give him a written warning. And that's what Carson says he thinks most deputies and officers will be doing this holiday weekend, issuing warnings. Whether they just get that or a ticket these first couple of days depends on their attitudes and the circumstances. If it's in high traffic, then I might not be as lenient. If it's clear roads, nice weather, then I might let it slide. According to Auto Club, 1.6 million Michiganders will be driving somewhere this holiday weekend. With so many out on our roads, Deputy Carson said more officers and deputies will be looking out for people holding their phones. And if they are, they will be pulled over. All right, Carl, I want to explain the ticket to you. Reporting in Waterford, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. All right, Sarah, thank you. Put that phone down.